Good morning, guys. Welcome to a spring. My dreams have finally been realized. It's spring outside. It's gonna be like 46 or 48 degrees this week for the whole week, like crazy warm. And that means that this white stuff is about to end. But for now, all the blankets are off. All the horses are watching me. They're like, what are you doing down here, Laura? Essentially, Sam took the kids with him into town today. Um, he had a doctor's appointment and the girls both wanted to go. Sophia wanted to go to the dollar store because she has a few things she needs. And these cutie patooties all got a spring reprieve from the cold. Don't you dare come in here. Look at mother and daughter, don't they look exactly the same? Gracie doesn't have any white on her and Honey doesn't really have any white on her. She might have some right up here when it comes down to it. See, they got wet coming through the door. No, Willow! So the days that the blankets come off are the days that I like to check them. Oh my goodness, get your water. I like to check and make sure everybody's a good weight. Oh, I thought Willow gained a ton back because we've been like trying to moderate their weight but also manage the cold. So it's hard to do that. It's hard to like make sure they're not gaining too much but also make sure that they have enough to control their body temperature. So she's actually looking cute, hi. Are you my little shadow, eh? Are you my little shadow? And last but not least, Penny Pickle, who's actually looking a bit chubbier than I left her. Actually, she looks good. She looks perfect to me. She has a little bit of a belly, a little bit of fat on her butt. She's actually bigger than, than she was before the blankets went on. And Gracie's maybe a little bit bigger still. But, well, maybe they're all. They're all. Weight is such a hard thing for horses. She looks good, though. They look good, Benny Pickle. All right, well, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy you guys are all holding it together. I'm just filling up their water bucket here. Stay there. Move your nose. Um, so I'm going to throw them some lunch. Because I don't. nobody told me before they left if they needed to be thrown lunch. All in a row, you can see the order of dominance. Penny gets the first pile of hay, Willow gets the second, Gracie's third in command, and little Honey's at the top there. She's at the bottom, actually. I'm actually kind of glad that, oh my gosh. I'm actually kind of glad that the weather's been nice, though, because I'm gonna go out there and try and clean up as much poo as I can. In the wintertime, it all gets frozen in there, and then, and then I can't do anything about it till the spring. So anytime we have a spring thaw and I can clear up all the poo, as much poo as I can, means the less I have to do in the spring. So the most surprising thing was that Gracie actually took charge of our new baby foal. Like nobody thought that she would do that. But then the next surprising thing is that Penny, who's not like this big lover of other horses, she actually took over a leadership role with the foal too. She actually loves the foal like her own and treats her that and treats her so good like that. She's giving Gracie the ears. Don't come near my girl. Don't come near my girl. Penny actually does really love the foal as well. And I'm so impressed with that because I honestly never thought I'd see that. But she does take her under her wing and keep her safe and, and sound. Uh, did you have to walk through it coming in? So did I. It's hard cleaning up the poop out here in the wet. Come here. So what do you think about Willow? Do you think she's a good weight? Like, do you think she's okay? Thank you. Yeah. Need to teach her more tricks. I know, we need to get back to training our horses. I'm gonna make Gabby uh, start lunging Chino every day or every other day in like a training regime because he needs to stay in shape. He's lost so much muscle from only riding once a week. You got that at the dollar store? Yeah, I feel it. Normally these ones are harder, but that one's soft. Yeah, that's nice. I love these things. Don't break. You break. Them. I oh, always comes, pop them. Here comes the grin. Spin. Spin. She's like, oh, spin. <laughs> it's hard for me to get a feel of what Willow used to look like because Honey's so small and she's so big. Yeah. Does she look bigger than she's always looked? She looks big. She looks I'm big. I'm lunging her every day. She looks a little big. You're gonna start lunging her every day? Yeah, like this will be the very first winter ever that our horses have not been in training through the winter, like our boys. Our boy, we only have one boy really. 
You have to walk through, whoops, you have to walk through all the, yeah, <laughs> water. I fill up Honey's hay ball every day and it's always gone in the morning. Always finished in the morning. And I'll add pictures, what it looks like in the morning, at night, when she fills it up, and then in the morning when she Bella goes. She doesn't like being brushed, she doesn't like being caught, but she loves attention. Yeah, and which is weird, because she never had attention her whole life. She was a rescue girl. She was like her halter. I don't know why. To clean the paddock in the winter when there's ice, I come out here whenever it's warm enough, and I rake it. I use the pitchfork to rake it. So I rake it into a big pile and then I scoop the pile. Obviously it's not as nice as in the winter or in the summer, but, and there's like a ton of ice underneath each pile, but I feel good getting it out of the arena, out of this field. So Sophie's favorite thing is playing with her baby foal. Look, her little legs are starting to bend. Oh, no, One better than the other. Because our little foal has sticky stifles, it makes her walk a little bit stiff. And she's, we struggled this ever since we got her. We struggled with this ever since we got her. And see, this side is still not as good as the other side. Our vet thinks that she'll just grow out of it uh, with the right kind of trims to help her conformation. And our farrier has been fanta fantastic. And we've just finally figured out what works better for her. And she's the cutest baby. So Sophie does exercises with her every day to strengthen her core and to... She's a sassy little mother now. So in the, when it's safe outside and there's no ice, she does a lot of hill work with her. We have this nice big hill, you guys know. And she does that. And we also do other stuff inside the arena here almost every single day and it's working good girl yeah <laughs> molly can do that too molly does all right. it backwards all right let's see molly do it backwards molly, it. all right molly let's see you oh my gosh look at your dog i know she's black she is even less dirty than her. she is black how did you know her white parts are black she never gets dirty. It's going to be a bath day for Molly. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Molly can do more than that. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> She's nervous of that ball. Look, she has a dirty spot on her belly. One thing we really like about her is that she's a clean pony. She likes to be clean. Good girl. I know, all I do anymore is just video her running, but she has to get exercise. Okay, so one thing that's been really hard for Sophie to understand is that the baby is a baby and she can't do anything until her bones are strong and until, all, until she's grown. And it's, so every day she's like, well, can I do this with her? Can I train her to do this? Can I, I turn around and I walk into her? But no, you can't do it like, you can't, she, what, today she asked me, can she lunge her? And lunging is probably one of the worst things that you can do for a baby. Like you cannot do it. basically just free lunging her. Don't be nice, be nice. She's allowed to run. She's allowed to go uphill. She's allowed to do stuff like that. And she can learn like basic. She can do basic. She can do basic groundwork, but she can't do things like lunging and she can't do things like jumping for sure. Willow's like, I want to play. <laughs> So the other day, um, we posted, we put our GoPro in the arena to see what the horses would do when we weren't here. And then we hung up a hay ball to see what would happen. And the horses did not come inside the arena the whole time the camera was going. And I think the camera ended really quick because it was cold out. So we're gonna try that again. We did come down in the morning and the hay ball was on the ground. So I know they enjoyed it. I took all the hay out of it. 
Why? Because uh, Molly wanted to play with it. You, so you took the hay out and let your dog play with the ball? Yeah. Well, you need to put it up for your for your horse because it gives him something to do. Oh, well, the string is very likable. Oh, my horse is going to run. Wow. Almost. <laughs> She's like, eh, I found some hay. <laughs> well, it's like, pay attention to me. Look at my girl go. Yeah. Okay, so Sylvie has four animals down at that end of the arena with her and she's gonna run to the front and we're gonna see who follows her. You can't look back, Sophie. Who do you think is gonna follow you? I know, honey's going. Is it? Just wait, who do you think is gonna follow you? Okay, I think it's gonna be honey. I mean, I think it's gonna be Willow. All right, on your mark, get set. Go! See, it was Willow first, then Penny with the grouchy face. <laughs> and then Honey just stayed down there. But forever and ever, Willow will always be your baby, will always be your biggest supporter. Oh, no, Molly, no. Let's see if she'll go up it. She went up it! Oh my goodness, my horse. See, they're bored over Christmas. Over Christmas, we didn't spend as much time with them, and now Penny's just like, I am bored. I need some stuff to do. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> and then get scared at it. Yeah. She spooks at it. Let's see if she'll do it again. She's like, I just want to make sure it'll hold my weight. Good girl. I love that. You know why she's working with me? Why is she working with you? Because this morning when I was taking her blanket off, I called her pretty. Aw. And, and now she's working with me. Yeah, for sure. I could pick you up. Yeah. I dare you. I dare you to pick her up. You could not pick her up. She's a lot. How do I pick her up? I can't pick her up. <laughs> I knew you couldn't. Here, vlog me and I'll see if I can pick her up. <laughs> nope. Happening. <laughs> She's too heavy now. You're heavy. She's too fat. You're a heavy baby. Yes, you are. She also looks fatter because her fur. Yeah. I'm excited to see what she looks like when she sheds out. Like, it looks like she's going to have white. Do you think she's going to have white? I think she's going to be darker in the summer and lighter. She's dark now. I like putting my fingers in her mouth and like, feeling the spots that have no teeth. Like she's got white all down here. Does that mean that she's going to have white on her skin? Like on her when she's shed out? Mom, <laughs> look, go like this and feel her gums. <laughs> Why? Because she has no teeth there. <laughs> Why would I want to though? Because you never do that with adults. One thing that we didn't show you guys was that just before Christmas, or just after Christmas, Sam got a second-hand couch so and a love I'm seat. Need to spot her. Yeah, you're gonna have to so spot her. So if you start falling and pushing, yeah, or like that. So we have to hang up so some of our. These are our spring fall. blankets. Why no. don't we hang up our winter blankets and leave our spring blankets no. out? If I fall, I will grab onto you. That's what you're there for. Okay, the other one. It's like we're doing a big spring cleanup. Fall, 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 fall. No, don't, fall. don't say that. Okay, so anyway, Sam got this secondhand couch. You guys know that he wants, you guys know that he wants to make it more comfy when like the farrier's here, the vet is here, or the chiropractor is here. I put this rug here, but it just gets dirty. Maybe well, she, maybe we should put it underneath the couch so it holds down. So anyway, Sam got this couch. No, I'll show it to you. Don't trip on it. Yeah, don't trip on it. So no, because then I'll do that. And then now I won't go anywhere, so I'll just go down. So now our tack room looks like this. So 
And we have a little furnace. Like you guys know that furnace, that propane thing that Sam uses? He actually uses that to keep everybody warm. And now he wants to get a TV. But where would he put the TV? Only one person warm. The other one half warm. Where is he going to put a TV? So he's looking right there. for a TV right now. Right here. I don't know. Now that we have Wi-Fi down here, Sam wants to make it more cozy, more comfy, just like another place that we can hang out, especially in the summer. So we're going to be doing like a big overhaul on this, in this area. Rearranging everything so that it's more comfy and more like... You can put a TV on that wall. Yeah, we could hang a TV up over there. But why would we need a TV or in the barn? move the blanket, put the TV right on that wall. Yeah, and that rack up there, can you guys see it? It's just, it just hangs over the wall. Hangs like over a door kind of thing. So we could for sure do that. In fact, we could just push it down. No. We could put a TV stand right there and just put a TV on it. It would get knocked over when you grab blankets. No, we could move the blanket rack. We don't really use Honey's blankets. Yeah, we bought Honey a bunch of blankets and we don't even use them. Why don't we use them? Because she does not like them. Yeah, she doesn't like them. Don't you know that you're beautiful?